We're too young to know what love is Our lost cynical eyes Scanning the room for meaning Maybe youth is wasted on the young Our lost traveling packs Tricking our teenage spirit Maybe we're all clean criminals Running fast to blur the visuals I get a lot of love from the online world, but I also get a lot of negative attention. Unwarranted negative attention, I think. People can be very harsh and it makes you doubt yourself and hate yourself too. It's important to remember that you're putting out positive things into the world and all they're doing is adding to the negativity. So who is doing the better thing here? Hmm? When we're looking at cyberbullying, we must remember that there are no boundaries, there are no particular groups of people that this affects. Everyone's affected by this because everyone is actually online. I have experienced cyberbullying online. I've mostly experienced it about um, my appearance, people making fun of me, or the amount of makeup that I wear, how I look. What's hurtful is knowing the intent, is knowing that somebody, you know, really wants to see you suffer, and make you upset, and that can be really difficult to deal with. I think that in some ways we weren't really ready for the internet, and people don't necessarily take cyberbullying as seriously as bullying in the real world but the internet is the real world now and bullying is bullying no matter where it is. It needs to be taken seriously, we need to have better rules and better laws in place to protect people. Do we have the time to justify all these sins we try to glorify? I think we're gonna regret these haircuts if we're